Hey y'all, this is Daisy from Big Mouth Media and Mel Major. What's going on, man? It's your boy Mel Major, man. Today we on Big Mouth Media, man. We got a Carolina music artist nominee in the building again this week. Everybody, introduce yourself. Let me know who you are. Hey, y'all. My name is Danny Dees. I'm from Rock Hill, South Carolina, and I'm 22 years old. Hey. So what's up? Um, what in the, uh, for people that don't know, what um, category was you nominated for? I was nominated for the country portion. Um, okay. I love all different kinds of music, but right now I've been mostly pursuing country. Okay. Um, I love doing country rock, country soul, everything like that. Okay. So that was really an honor to be a, a part of that. Most definitely. Um, being a country singer, um, what made you actually get into like the country rock? Well, um, um, my accent helped a lot. Yeah, you did have a slight accent. <laughs> yeah. But I'm from, South, I'm from North Carolina, I'm country too, so I mean. Yeah, <laughs> so anytime I try to do, you know, rock and stuff, people are like, oh, you sound good. But then the second I sing country, they're like, that's what you need to be doing because yeah. I'm like, it's it's so weird. My my accent um, kind of led me into that direction mm -hmm. just because it's kind of where it fits. It's where mm -hmm. my voice fits. And I, I just love country music. It just feels good. Mm -hmm. um, I know everyone has that stipulation about how all country music sounds, sounds the same now. Mm -hmm. So I've kind of been trying to change it up. Trying to I think really within it. like music as a whole, especially in hip hop, well, music as a whole, a lot of people are sounding the same. Yeah. I feel as if like a lot of people they're not really like being like authentic with like their own sound anymore. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, and that's why it's hard if if you're not writing your own stuff. Um, mm -hmm. That was me for a while. I wasn't writing my own music, and although I loved the songs and I connected with them, it wasn't something that I felt like deep because it wasn't something that I, you know, produced or yeah. I, I did. Um, so all the songs that I've been writing lately have been like from the heart, and I'm trying to put the tracks together to where it doesn't sound like every other song out there. Yeah. Just trying to change it so people aren't just like, oh, here's another country song on the radio. And yeah. They're like, oh, listen to this song. Like, I like that vibe, I like that jam. So yeah. um, that's kind of my goal well, is just to give people something they want to listen to. Thanks. So you said that you weren't writing your own music at the beginning. Well, how did you get to start writing your own music? Um, I think once. <laughs> Once I started having boy problems, I started writing more, <laughs> yeah. and so um, it made it easier because then I kind of channeled all those emotions, and um, I mean, I've always written, I've always done poems and stuff. My mom um, has been writing since she was young, so I, she kind of instilled that in me, mm -hmm. but it wasn't until I reached a certain point in my life where I felt comfortable enough to put music to things where I was like, okay, like I'm capable of putting a song together. Yeah. So, um, a couple years ago was when I finally started songwriting. Okay. So, the first song that you wrote, were you doing you, how did you, did you feel comfortable showing it to somebody, knowing like you was like, it was your first personal song? Yeah. Well, <laughs> the thing about that one is, um, it was so personal that, um, the person it was about, I was mm -hmm. nervous about them hearing it. I was oh, nervous wow. that they were going to hear it. Yeah. But, um, it, it's past that point now. It's been produced and recorded and it should be out soon. Okay. Um, that one's just kind of the first one that I wrote and put all the music to and actually like produced it. I've written a ton of songs before that, but I never, I have, they're still just sitting in the notes on my phone. I haven't, you know, done anything. You went into the studio yet? Yeah. So. Right. That's what's up. So, um, as far as like being a country singer, um, what are some of the content of your music? I know for me, when I hear country songs, you say a lot of them sound the same, but I know for yeah. me, a lot of the concepts are like, it'd be like heartbreak songs mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. But still, they still have the good soul to them as well. Yeah. So what is like some of the content of your music? So I try to be pretty positive just because, um, you know, elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. When I was in college studying music, um, I lost all my hair to a disease called alopecia. Okay. So, um, I kind of have taken that with a grain of salt and I've always wanted to use all my things that have gone on in my life to influence somebody else to be positive about it. Mm -hmm. So I try to do that and channel it in my music too. Um, I had a song that's been played on a bunch of radio stations called Mojo Back mm -hmm. and um, that song's pretty popular and it's just a feel good song. But um, the song that's coming out soon is called Dodge Bullet. That mm -hmm. one's kind of like a breakup song. Mm -hmm. But if it's not, you know, very positive and uplifting it's just kind of like a fun it's still fun you know I, I try to keep things upbeat and exciting because that's how I like to perform on stage too mm -hmm. so if I have songs that I'm on, I'm on stage and not comfortable doing or if you know it's slow and not really exciting mm -hmm. then 
I'll be slow and exci not excited. So <laughs> yeah, it's like I when I'm you. out there, I want to push, you know, excited, like let, let's go yeah. kind of music. So I always try to be just have fun in my songs. So, cause even like when they um, when they did announcing the nominees and then they play like the preview of your song before then, it's like I heard the song and it was like for it to be a country song, it was like it sounded more like happy, more joyful than when I was. Yeah. So it was like, yo, I definitely wanted to connect with you and check out some of your music and actually bring you up for an interview. Yeah, thank you. So as far as like just pushing further in music, what do you see like, what's some of your goals that you have right now? So I have, um, right now I'm independent. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to make some connections to further the process. Um, I've been contemplating, you know, moving up to Nashville and possibly doing some recordings and uh, some deals with people mm -hmm. but um right now like all i know is music makes me happy and it makes me happy to use it to make other people happy mm -hmm. and as long as i can do that then i'll be happy mm -hmm. i have some things in the works that um not really at liberty to say yet mm -hmm. just baby steps to get to the bigger picture mm -hmm. um so as as far as shows go i have a show next weekend at mm -hmm. the cumberland county fair okay um that's saturday night at seven okay and then um, i got a couple of shows in my hometown in rock hill south carolina mm -hmm. coming up and then a couple of shows in florida so okay. my shows so, are kind of sporadic yeah. but um as far as the music backs like background and the everything going on behind the scenes um it's it's slowly starting to come together I think Nashville would definitely be a um, a dope move to make because yeah. definitely been a heart of country music mm -hmm. and part of my family is from Memphis, Tennessee. So I mean, oh, this yeah. whole Tennessee like vibe, I feel like that'd be a great move. Yeah. Sometimes that's scary because it's like you're a freshman in high school again, where you're like this little fish in such a big pond. Right. With everybody else trying to do the same thing, um, but it's it's either really good or really kind of devastating to be there. Mm -hmm. Like every time I've gone, I've had a really good time and it's kind of you know, lit that fire again and again, but it's also nerve wracking because you know there's so many people trying to do the same thing as you. Yeah, so. it's like rappers going to Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All the rappers want yeah. to go to Atlanta, but yeah. even there, I believe I believe that you guys have surpassed a lot of artists because of, like your confidence. Yeah. Because even with you, um, stating that you had um alopecia, mm -hmm. and even like um, you not like you're still posting pictures, you're still going out going hard. A lot of people they probably be like ashamed or embarrassed yeah. but, you're, but you took it and like embraced it yeah and that's why I, I try to be a role model with it because I know there's so many people that deal with that mm -hmm. but you wouldn't know it because either you know they feel like they have to cover it up mm -hmm. or you know they don't go out or mm -hmm. they don't post anything and not even people that you know are having alopecia problems just like any kind of insecurities period mm -hmm. you know I try to um, I mean Obviously, I have my own struggles about it, and mm -hmm. um, it's not like rainbows and butterflies all the time, mm -hmm. but I just try to promote positivity about it and promote that um, you can be yourself regardless, like yeah. no matter what you got going on. Most definitely. And, uh, you know, I just, I just want everybody to feel comfortable in their own skin. Mm -hmm. So I try to do that by being comfortable myself. Right. So. Is there anything you talk about in your music as well? Um, I've been writing a lot. I, like I said, I try to be positive, mm -hmm. but every time, you know, I try to write about things going on physically mm -hmm. and like emotionally with mm -hmm. all of that, sometimes it gets a little kind of like sad mm -hmm. and I'm trying to find a way to channel it into like a positive light. So mm -hmm. I'm still um, working on that project side of it, but mm -hmm. um, I'm really so, hopeful about that though because I know that there's a lot of positivity that can come from it, but mm -hmm. I wrote it when I was in like kind of like a darker place about it. Mm -hmm. So it's really just, you know, nitpicking yeah. it and fixing right. it. So. Most definitely, because like I had looked your Instagram, I seen you actually had long hair at one point. So yeah. I was like, like I had for tons you, of hair. <laughs> yeah, and you even donated it. Um, I seen as well. Yeah. Facts. So even after that, um, you kept pushing. You still going. You've been nominated for awards. What is like? I mean, really, I feel like I feel like the sky's the limits for you, really, with country, because I don't know too many country artists. And for you that, for me, as to meet you and as to check out your music, as to hear your sound, like it's dope. So as far as what you have coming up, you see you have shows and stuff coming up. You got an EP that you're working on or a project, anything like that? Yeah, so like I said, I've been working on those songs to get done and get them mm -hmm. out there. Um, right now, it's just a matter of doing some harmonies on them, mm -hmm. mixing and mastering, and then putting them out there. So it's pretty much done. You it's pretty like much done. It's, um, you know, people want to keep up with me. It's just 
my all my social media and music platforms are just Danny D's, mm -hmm. and um, I'll definitely be keeping people updated on there mm -hmm. and posting when things are going to be coming out on my social medias and stuff. So, do you have like a title for it already? I did, and then I keep changing it. It happens a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's like I had it, and then you wake up and the next day, and you're like, "Wait, well, what if I did this? Mm -hmm. Or added this song to it and did it like this?" So, mm -hmm. um, not not for sure. Okay. So. Okay. So, any time frame you got in mind for dropping it? Before this year. Okay. Up. I'm trying to get it all done. So. Most definitely, yo. We got Danny D's on Big Mouth Media, man. She got a project. It's her debut project, right? Well, I've had a couple projects before, but mm -hmm. this is my first one as an independent. So. Well, we're going to call it your debut project. Debut then. project. Her What's debut up? project. Y'all dropping <laughs> the end of this year, man. By the end of this year. And stay tuned with her, man. Um, is there anything else you want to let the people know, man? Um, just uh, thank you for everyone that's kept up with me, all my followers, all my fans and family, um, everybody that supported me, even when I didn't think I was going to be anything or make it everybody else told me that I wouldn't and it made me want to continue to do everything I'm doing so and a shout out to my little brother uh, Midnight Social because if I didn't give him a shout out he'd be upset with me shout out to him man he'll yes. be up shout out to well. Dylan yes he's Sarah awesome Fun. he's a good rapper so. Sarah Fun. yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow him and stuff before we leave out of here yeah most definitely well it's Mel Major man we got Danny D's in the building um shoot man the sky's the limit, man. I want y'all to go follow her, man. Yo, all y'all, I know we do a lot of rapper, R&B singers, and other entrepreneurs up here. But this is my first time doing a country singer. So I need for everybody to go tap in, go follow her, stay tuned. Because I'm co-signing. I'm saying she's certified two times, you feel me? So y'all go co I'll go check her out, look for her music and everything she got coming soon. Um, shout out to your friends that be pulling up to your shows, too. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't have friends. Y'all friends don't even come to y'all shows, yeah. man. Y'all need to get that oh. together. <laughs> Yeah. Have, you know, the people that the friends that will show up and actually support you. But if you're going, you're like, yeah, I'm trying to go to a concert to see someone, so they'd be ready to go to that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's crazy, <laughs> man. But, yo, Mel Major, Big Mouth Media, Danny D's, and we out of here. Bye, guys. <laughs>